Hi there, this is Mark Schauder with Platinum California Realty with another episode of Poway Today. Today I'm here with Mark Nimitz of Mark Nimitz uh, Farmers Insurance Agency. Welcome, Mark. Hey, Mark. Glad to, glad to be with you again. Absolutely. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about what you do um, in, in your capacity as a, a, an agent? Absolutely. So uh, one thing that we specialize here at the Mark Nimitz Farmers Insurance Agency is uh, customer service. So we are a full service insurance agency. So um, we sell mostly all lines, um, auto insurance, home insurance, life insurance, business insurance, bonds. There, there's a bunch of other stuff that we do as well. Um, and if you have questions, always ask, and we can always uh, refer you out to uh, to somebody if we don't do something. For example, health insurance we don't do, um, or if you have any other general questions, obviously reach out as well. But one thing that we do specialize in, like I had mentioned previously, is customer service. So we're always holding the hands of our clients to make sure that they're taken care of regardless of whether it's during a pandemic, whether it's during a claim, whether it's whether it's a claim with our company, whether it's a claim with another company, we always want to make sure that they are taken care of. Um, and and one thing, you know, today before this, before COVID-19 happened, um, there's just so many businesses out there who are not, uh, they don't preach customer service anymore. And I think we see it day to day and I see it, I'm sure you see it as well. And so one of the things that I really, really wanted to strive for as a business owner, as a local business owner, is I wanted to make sure that my clients are always in the know that they, you know, they're always taken care of. Like I said, because the, the biggest thing when it comes to insurance is what are you going to do for me when it comes time for claims? You know, if a claim goes Ari, are you going to essentially step up, you know, step up to the, to the plate? And um, that's kind of where I, um, th that's where, that's where my agency basically uh, shed some light as opposed to, to a lot of the com uh, competition. Right. And how has social distancing affect you and your business? Social distancing has definitely made it a little bit more of a challenge. Um, I'm here actually in my office. I am uh, completely by myself. My staff is working remotely from home. Uh, we've locked our doors. We're still oper fully operational. So we still have the ability to take calls. We hear for all of our clients, uh, phone calls, emails, text messages, whatever the easiest mode of communication for them is, we're here to help. Um, Farmers is doing obviously a lot of things as well. Um, it just seems like you know, as the days kind of progress, we're, we're all just kind of waiting, um, you know, kind of what the next steps are, but um, we're, we are here for our clients every day. Mm -hmm. Anything the community can do to help you right now? Uh, I mean, I think the biggest part is I, I've spoken to a lot of clients here in the last few weeks who obviously with everything going on, the insurance is not kind of at the forefront of their minds. And I, I completely understand. Uh, but I do also talk to a lot of clients who've actually had their insurance policies, home and auto lapse for a few days because they had no idea. And then we get into the subject of communication as far as Hey, you know what? It's it's always best to kind of have somebody take an extra look at this, um, you know, and just obviously you don't want to wait. You you don't want to wait too long, um, and that's the biggest problem because stuff does occur. Um, whether whether it's on the auto side, thefts occur, vandalisms occur, collisions still occur, even though that we have less cars on the road and less miles being driven. All this stuff still happens. Um, pipes still break. Fires still happen all these different causes of losses, unfortunately, do go on um, amidst everything else going on. Right, right, true. So um, speaking about local, because you are a local Poway guy, what's one of your favorite local businesses um, in the community? Tell you what, I love all the businesses. And um, actually, later this week, I'm going to do something. Um, we're, we're going to run... Uh, something on Facebook. I don't know if we're going to do something kind of on the local Poway pages or if I'm going to do something um, kind of on my generic page where I basically want to uh, showcase um, a few different local businesses and go buy gift cards for those, you know, go buy gift cards from those businesses, from those local restaurants and, uh, and give them away. Because mm -hmm. um, I mean, we have so many people, unfortunately, who um, and, and I get to each their own. They don't want to, uh, you know, maybe they don't, they're kind of unsure about the whole mindset of, as far as COVID-19. So they don't want to go out for takeout, which is completely, like I said, I, I completely understand. 
um, their decision with that. If somebody is potentially hand their, handling, you know, your food, right. um, you don't know where they've been and all that, but um, the least bit, if we can buy gift cards from these businesses. And so when uh, we are back to some level of normalcy, once this whole thing passes, um, that those gift cards could be used in those businesses and we can all help each other um, one way or another. And that's, that's kind of the big, big, um, the big, big take back. But I mean, there's, there's a bunch of different businesses that are local that, that I like to frequent quite a bit. Uh, Mostra coffee is over in Carmel Mount ranch. Um, there's a, there's a great kebab place, Baba kebab. We like Bongiorno's pizza. There's, there's a bunch, like I said, there's a bunch of different local establishments and, uh, whatever your food preference is, please, I'm asking you just go support your local family restaurants, because there's a lot of businesses, the bigger businesses that might be able to survive this. But unfortunately, a lot of the smaller businesses, depending on how long this goes on, might not be able to survive. So whatever right, we can right. do as a community, let's go help our fellow brothers and sisters. We're all in this thing together. Right. And, and we had a little dose of that when we had the water situation here in Poway. Correct. Community exactly. Together. Yeah. Absolutely. And I mean, that was, uh, you know, that was just a week, you know, yeah. um, I think maybe 10 days. Um, but we, we saw kind of what the financial impact it did for a lot of the businesses. And then so afterwards, we had a, um, a month long, um, you know, kind of a give back where, where we're tipping, you know, um, the other issue, too, is obviously there's no you can't sit down in restaurants, meaning the servers and everybody else are not getting tipped. If you can do it, if you go out still, just play, you know, we're not asking you to shell out a hundred percent in tips, but you know, two bucks, five bucks, 10 bucks, it does go a long way. Um, especially if a lot of these businesses are paying their employees, which, uh, which I know some of them are. Right, right, right. On a lighter side, um, I, any positive situations? Um, uh, what, what's been your favorite part of, of the spending more time at home? If there is any, <laughs> uh, no, there, there certainly is. And I appreciate the question. You know, I, I mean, it's it, it's uh, it, it's good to to spend time with my daughter, spend time with my wife, um, kind of take a step back and just really appreciate the things that that we have. Um, I mean, obviously, every day, thank God for for my health, uh, for all for my family's health, my friends' health. Um, you know, I mean, this is a struggling time for not just not, not just us here in in. California, it's the entire world that's being affected by this. Um, obviously, we see the numbers, we see them grow. Um, we just got to do our part to uh, flatten that curve and um, keep social distancing uh, going on. And um, I'm an avid, avid baseball fan. And so it drives me absolutely bonkers to not have baseball. I was supposed to go to opening day <laughs> 10 days ago. Um, you know, and I have to just kind of settle with watching highlights now, which is fine. But it sounds like baseball is might you know might maybe come back in May. Oh, like May, yeah. Um, with with some with some kind of weird uh, rules where obviously no fans and the players and managers are sitting in the stands instead of the dugout. So um, you know, whatever we can get, uh, like I mentioned to you before, uh, before Mark, I know we're not going to be able to get back into. Um, you know, the, the prior level of, of normalcy, but if we can get, if we can establish something, uh, but at the end of the day, we have to continue to maintain uh, that social distancing because that's important as far as uh, getting this thing relatively under control. True, true, true. Mark, in case uh, somebody has some insurance needs, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Uh, best, best time I think right now is to, uh, you can send me an email, M. N I M E T Z at farmersagent.com, farmers plural, agent A G E N T. Um, you can call my office here. My calls are being forwarded uh, to my staff, 858 866 8147. Um, and like I said, although our offices are uh, closed uh, to anybody coming in, I am physically here um, and we can help you out in, in whatever. Um, you know, whatever facet of, of uh, a business. If you have any questions, general insurance questions, if you want to chat, um, I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to, like I said, we're all in this thing together. So whatever we can do to, to help support one another, I think is great. Very good. Mark, I appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks, um, Mark. You too. You're welcome. This is Mark Schauder with Platinum California Realty with another episode of Poway Today.